Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. You are getting this video lessons from bankersacademy.com. Today in this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem. Let me first explain what is given in the problem. It is given like this. The wind is blowing from south at 10 meter per second. So before even reading the further problem, let me describe what is the meaning of this. So, you know, on the paper, the directions, how the directions are taken. This is how we consider east on the paper. This is west. And this is how we give, say, north and south. This is how directions are being pointed on a paper. It is now given in the problem that a wind is blowing from south. It's obvious that it is starting from the south means it's moving towards the north at 10 meter per second. So this is what? The velocity. What is this is nothing but velocity of the wind. Nothing mentioned means that is with respect to the top of the ground. So it is given in a problem that velocity of the wind with respect to ground is 10 is moving towards the positive y axis so it has to be represented as plus j cap then there's a cyclist for that cyclist the wind is appearing like blowing from east for the cyclist the wind is appearing like blowing from east it is obvious that it is appearing like blowing from east means it is appearing like moving from east to that of a west what is that that is not the actual velocity of the wind this is the velocity of the wind how it appears with respect to a cyclist be careful and be clear about it velocity of the wind with respect to a cyclist because for that cyclist it appears like blowing from east is from east to west this is velocity of the wind with respect to cyclist. It's moving towards the negative y axis. Therefore, I have to say minus i cap. Now you want to calculate what is the velocity of that cyclist. Nothing is mentioned means you want the velocity of the cyclist with respect to the ground. The first thing that I want to write here is something like this. The velocity of the wind with respect to cyclist velocity of the wind with respect to cyclist can be written as velocity of the wind with respect to ground plus velocity of the ground with respect to cyclist as we have done even in the previous problems we have to always get somebody as an intermediate that intermediate that what we always get here is ground if you have seen, we have added that ground for the first vector in the second part, later part for the second vector in the first part. Cancel each other, and I will get back the velocity of the wind with respect to the cyclist itself. So we can further write velocity of the wind with respect to ground. Be clear here that it is given. We have to, we have written like velocity of the ground with respect to cyclist. It's not fair to say that ground is moving over the cycle as cycle is moving over the ground. I have to write this in reverse as minus velocity of the cyclist with respect to the ground. This is called something like a negative vector. So I can write velocity of the wind with respect to cyclist is vector forms. Velocity of the wind with respect to ground minus velocity of the cyclist with respect to ground velocity of the wind with respect to cyclist is given for you minus 10 i cap velocity of the wind with respect to ground is also given for you nj cap minus velocity of the cyclist with respect to ground that's what we are supposed to calculate that implies velocity of the cyclist with respect to ground by rearranging the terms 10 j cap this minus 10 i cap on the other side will become plus 10 i cap 10 i cap that's it that's what the value is suppose you are interested in calculating the magnitude of this velocity of the cyclist with respect to ground root of x component square 
as well as y component square that is root 200 that's nothing but equal to 10 root 2 meter per second suppose you are inclined to find the direction of this what is this velocity of the cyclist with respect to ground in which direction the cyclist is actually moving on the ground if you see the vector is 10 i cap and 10 j cap 10 i cap will be this way 10 j cap will be this way so this is where in between velocity of the cyclist on the ground is moving so for a cyclist who is moving on the ground this way if the wind is blowing this way it appears like blowing this way that's what the problem is here thank you for watching keep coming back for multiple number of videos